today I'm going to be showing you four DIYs that could be related. <laughs> See what I did okay. there? Okay, not funny. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> This first project, I'm starting with this little piece of decor that I purchased from Walmart for around 50 cents a couple years ago. It was in an Easter collection. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint this. So I have another one that I already did off camera. Now I'm probably gonna have to do a second coat because I can still see some of the pink kind of coming through. So this one was the same thing, but it's with pink and white rather than the purple and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat and I'm just mixing up a cream tone. I want this more of a neutral finish. So I'm mixing in this color here. The color is called Pale Gray. Oops. And then I'm mixing in another color with that. Kind of toned down that gray. And that is this matte color. It's just a matte cream. I got this from Joann's. This is called Light Cream. So I'm just mixing in a little bit of this about that much, give or take. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side and let it dry, and then I'll be working on the floral arrangement later on. This is now done drying. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a picture that I want to put on the front of it. I'll just pick any side. Also, I will be removing these pink, these tulips. What are these supposed to be? I do not know, but they need to go. And also this egg. I printed out a couple different designs of these bees. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. Uh, I think this one will work. That one's a bit too large. So I'm just gonna cut this out. So I gotta cut it out. We're just gonna glue it on. I'm just gonna be using some wood glue. Blah. I wanted to add in some different kind of florals because I just didn't like what was in there. And this is what I found that I think would go really well with the bees. Guess I have some pieces to work with. I was also thinking like adding in some of this grass because I just have a lot of it. I got this from Michael's a couple years ago. But I think this would add a, some more texture. So there's a little bit more like greenery kind of going on. Just spread it out like this. And then I'll just take my pieces with these grass pieces and just kind of poke those in the sides, popping out. Probably gonna do like three pieces over here. This is really gonna help add in that touch of realness by adding these teeny like little details to the pieces. Almost makes it look like grass is kind of growing out of this. But if you do it in clusters, it looks more real. Then I'm gonna add in my other pieces. So like my sunflower. I'm gonna try to put that towards the front cause that looks really cute. I think the sunflowers with the daisies is just a really nice touch together. The white and the yellow. I'm not sure, that's not a sunflower, but that's fine. I'll just pop it down at the bottom. There we are. And if you wanted to like, you know, cut these pieces down a little bit. I kind of like them really like long and strung out just to really make this a little bit more dramatic. A lot of the flowers just kind of fill in that space so you don't see the inside, but I'm gonna go ahead and style this and you guys can tell me in the comments what you guys think. Today's video is a part of a collaboration that Ellie from House to Home and Kiki from Kiki's DIY put together for all of you guys to enjoy some bee decor ideas. So I hope that you enjoy this video as well as check out the playlist that I linked down below with all of these beautiful creators videos. 
for this next project, I found this jar in my craft stash and I believe I got the jar itself from Hobby Lobby a while back and I've already previously painted it. It looks like I used a little bit of baking soda in my paint, which is good. Adding a little bit of texture and it has that same kind of neutral cream tone as the first project. I wanted to create a little honey jar I thought was going to be really, really cool. I've never made one and I thought this was the perfect shape. And I went ahead and took off this little plastic band. That's what kind of seals this lid to the jar and it makes it really tight. I didn't like how it was not pushing on. So I just tore the plastic piece off and now the lid just kind of like falls in there. I think I'm gonna change up the color a little bit, add a little bit more rustic flair to the piece, and then write in honey on here. I do think I'm gonna also make a little honey stir stick thing to go with it. And this is just for decor purposes only. It's not like to actually store honey in this. Get out my little tray of paint. We're gonna mix in, I think, some brown colors. So I'm just gonna take like different brown tones. I want to work them into the like little cracks where it would be brown, you know. I think that's looking better already. Kind of adding this rustic kind of flair to this piece. And I'm just mixing in different browns together, like some tans and kind of just really going over those grooves with the dark. I think that's really highlighting those spaces. So right now I'm just adding in a little bit of green to kind of make it look like some moss or something like that. A little bit of green is just gonna add in like it was sitting outside in the grass or something and we found this piece. I'm blending that right into the browns and it's very, very subtle because it's blended in. You might add in a little bit of green up in here. Don't go overboard with it. So now the middle part, I do wanna kind of darken up just a bit, but I don't want to go too crazy with it. So I'm just gonna try and add in this tan color and then smear it around. Makes it a lighter color, but I'm not going too dark. Still adds in this rustic flare by just kind of smearing paint. A lot of people are always iffy about my projects as I'm doing them, but just wait till the end and you guys will see that they come together pretty nicely. You know, if you like that kind of rustic look. I can't forget about this piece. Right here, I'm gonna do the green on the edge and mix in brown. I love that. I think it looks so good. Maybe this isn't for everybody, but I think that the pot looks so cute and rustic. Right here is like the seam. So I want that on the side. There's the other seam. So I'll probably either write it on this side or this side, which I probably will do this side. Honey, about right in between where my fingers are. It's just really plain and simple. I just think that probably gonna look the best. Now I'm moving on to making the little honey stir stick and I'm just breaking apart some clay. We're just making little wheels. <laughs> That's all we're doing. We're just making a large wheel and then two medium and two small. So the idea here is to make a large, two medium, two small of these little wheels. I will then put this onto a stick, which I'm actually holding that stick, and create my own little honey stir stick. Okay, so here I have my little, here's my little stick, and then all of my pieces are dried. So I'm gonna start with a small one, and I'm just gonna slip this on like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue somewhere, and I'll just slip on my next one. Do the same kind of thing. And here's what it looks like completed. Now I want to go ahead and paint this and I want it to match the honey pot. 
I did the same brown tones and then I added in a little bit of yellow this time. I think this pairs really well, like an antique kind of look. I'm loving that. project is super simple I'm just gonna cut these out I just printed some kind of like labels I found on the internet I just found some and screenshot them a lot of companies want you to pay for these labels but since I'm just doing this for like a, a decor project I just screenshot it on my computer and then print the screenshot out that way I don't have to pay you know seven dollars for the labels, I don't know. Is that like considered stealing? I don't know. I feel like if you were to use it for your actual company, that's a different story. Like you'd want to have the license, uh, the copyright artwork. Okay, let me go grab the little bottles. So for this little bottle, this was a little maple syrup bottle from Cracker Barrel that I had kept. I was thinking just placing this yellow label on this one. It is a bit too large, so I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more. I'm just taking some glue, it doesn't matter what kind. And I'm just gonna glue this piece to the bottle. Just like that. Then you can put some honey in there, or you know, fake honey. This is just giving you guys some ideas of what you can make. I think that's cute. And then the other one I really wanted to put on this jar, but it's way too big. And this was pretty much similar. I just cut it to size, and then I glued it around the little jar that I had. This was a little uh, whiskey jar shot that I had kept and took the label off and I put organic product on the lid. I like that. I think it's cute. And these are my two little bottles. I end up making some fake honey and I put it in there and here are the results. <laughs> For this next project, I wanted to make some beads. You guys know I'm obsessed with beads. So I had these black beads from a different project that I saved. So all I really wanna do is string them onto this twine. This was a different project. I'm not really sure how many beads I wanna put on. So I'm just gonna go like this and just pop them on. So I'm kinda towards the end of this strand of beads. So how I plan to style them is kind of double loop them. So just take the strand and crisscross it and then take the top part down so that it kind of just looks like two strands of beads. Now towards the end, instead of tying tassels, I put the ends together and I put them through the needle like this. Just take these and put them down like that. And I'm going to take a bead and just slide it across both strands so that it kind of meets up like this. You can kind of see that there. I'm going to do that with a few more beads. So I've got about five beads strung on there. Now I'm going to tie a knot so I know those beads aren't going to go anywhere. I'm going to take some more of my twine and I just want to tie a knot right here so that everything's like really secure. Now, so, so far it looks like this with this little kind of nub. I'm going to go ahead and add some more beads hanging off of this. 
So I'm just basically using up the rest of this bag. So now that I'm towards the end of the long strand, I'm gonna put on a yellow, black, yellow. That'll just like represent that that's a B. Maybe twist this even more. And then I'm just gonna tie another knot, probably like three knots to make sure this is secure. And then I'll just cut it about right in here and just kind of fray the edges out. I'm just gonna make a couple more of these little like bees or whatever you wanna call them. So I'm just putting three of them on a strand, tying some knots on both ends and that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Wear it as a necklace. You definitely would have to double this. So it'll be like this, and then crisscross and around. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here. So like, how does it look? How do I look, guys? Again, please don't forget to check out the playlist I have linked down below, and if you like any of our videos, like them, subscribe to our channels, it helps our channels grow, that's the whole point of a collaboration. I really hope you enjoyed this, I will see you in my next video, bye!